Good morning, Capricorn. This is Renee, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, thank you for joining me. This is for Capricorn for December 3rd through the 17th. And I'm late on doing this reading, so I do apologize, but I've been trying to get them up as fast as I possibly can for you. Let's see what we have for Gemini. Oh, excuse me. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. <laughs> I'm getting way ahead of myself already. Um, Capricorn, when I was meditating on your energy, I saw the sun. So I feel like this is going to be a really happy time for you. I feel like I feel like you're overcoming some obstacles. And I feel like happiness is finally pouring back in. And I think that Given the challenges and obstacles that you've been going through, I feel like it's a very joyous sight for the sun to come through. See, we have, take a deep breath. Yes. Take a deep breath. Your happiness is coming back in. And we have a burst of magic that is your your energy capricorn i feel like you are finally feeling like you're coming back to normal at the bottom of the deck we have beyond the ordinary so i feel like i'm feeling like whatever you've been through um and i feel like you have probably really been through it lately. Um, but I'm feeling like you can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I have to say, Capricorn, I feel like with this sun coming through for you, I feel like it's time for you to take a new direction. It's time for you to take a risk that you've been wanting to do. Something that you've been wanting to do. You have Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. Just a moment. I can't read. Uh, you have the ability to connect, to count, excuse me. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life missions. Yeah, I apologize. I am just having trouble just with everything today. But yes, Capricorn, I feel like you are really able to um, beam your light into other people. I feel like you are really able to uplift other people with your words. That's how I'm feeling right now. I feel like you're uplifting others. You also have Bridget. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding further. Yeah, so you may have you may have some obstacles still coming through that you know, you need to look deeper within in order to find the answers to these questions that you may have. Maybe take some time to meditate. Take some alone time. Really dive deep to get your answers to your questions. You have a win-win outcome is forecast. Full, full moon in Libra. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to take one more. One more of the moonology. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Yes, that's exactly what I was feeling. 
uh, Capricorn, I was feeling like if you if you take a moment to meditate, really dive deep within your spirituality, I feel like the questions that you need to be answered are within your reach. And at the bottom of the deck, you have it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Yeah, and... You know, it's very important to release any negativity because positive things can't come into your life if you're overwhelmed with negative thoughts or if there's negative people around you. So I feel like maybe you should take time out to uh, really think about things. If there's people or things that you need to release, they kind of keep you overwhelmed. They keep you kind of on guard. Negative energy just attracts negative things. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. What does the tarot have to say for Capricorn for December 3rd through the 17th? What does tarot have to say? What messages? Spirit, angels, and guides, do we have for Capricorn? So I think this one. The King of Pentacles. Yeah, that's your card. So I feel like your energy is really coming through, Capricorn. And you as a Capricorn. You're very solid, very stable. You're very practical. What else do we have for Capricorn? December 3rd through the 17th. The Page of Pentacles. Okay, lots of pinnacles coming out right now. Let's see what else we've got. The High Priestess. Judgment. The Chariot. Wow. Pretty good reading so far. And we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the hangman. The six of wands. And the king of swords. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the eight of pentacles. So basically all are pentacles except for these wands right here and the king of swords very interesting that all of these earth cards are coming out um depicting your sign here capricorn so i see that you're working very hard and actually capricorns are very hard workers anyway capricorns are very reliable very stable very um dependable and they work very hard um in whatever that they're doing so I believe that you're coming, you are showing up very strongly in this reading, Capricorn. Now with this, I feel like the King of Pentacles, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is you showing up for this reading. Um, with the Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess, I feel like you're really going to get a communication. Something's going to come through that you've been waiting for and that... Um, you're finally going to get news or you're going to get the answers that you are really needing at the moment. And I feel like you're getting those answers because you're trusting yourself more. You are following your intuition. You're looking deeper into your spirituality. And that shows very strongly in this judgment card and the chariot. Because with the judgment and the chariot together, 
I feel like you're really moving towards what kind of brings you to life. I really feel like you're you're working towards your life's purpose. That that's exactly what I feel like you're looking for, Capricorn. I feel like you're looking for the the life purpose for you. Very interesting. And I feel like with this chariot card and the four of pentacles, I feel like you're really moving in the right direction. The universe is leading you. Sorry, my little kitten just bumped my camera. Okay, we're back into focus. Okay, now uh, with the Four of Pentacles and the Chariot, I, I really feel like you're taking action. And I feel like you're really protecting it is, you're protecting what you want. I feel like you're holding something very close to you. You're protecting it. You're guarding it. But I really feel like you are, and you may be physically moving. Just one moment. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, and I really feel like you may be physically moving. If if it's not to a new home, you may be moving to a new job. You may be moving to um, a new destination. But I definitely feel like something is moving for you. And for some reason, I feel like I feel like you've had trouble with transportation. For some reason, I feel like you've had trouble moving to this destination because of, of a transportation issue. So I feel like whatever that transportation issue is, I feel like that's going to be resolved. Now you have the, the hangman. The Six of Wands and the King of Swords. So with the Hangman, what I'm really getting from that is that you're gaining more wisdom. You're finding your victory. I really feel like you're being recognized for what it is that you're doing because you're diving deep within. You're gaining a whole new perspective of your situation. And I believe that that's going to give you victory in this situation. He's riding into this town with these townspeople and he's coming back from a battle. He's won this battle and now they're all cheering him on. And that's what I feel. Capricorn, I feel like you're being cheered on for something that you've done. You're being rewarded. Something is going to come through that's going to be your reward. Now, with the King of Swords, I feel like um, this situation that you went through has brought you to a lot of clarity, a lot of success. It's kind of changed your thinking in everything that you do. And I feel like it's it's made you a different person, if that makes sense. But I feel like with the situation, you have gained so much clarity in the situation. But Capricorn, I do feel like with this King of Swords, um, I do feel like you should watch your words. Watch your words. Sometimes your words can cut like a knife. Okay. 
Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity on this reading. This is a very good reading, though. There's a lot of good cards. There's actually no bad cards in this reading. None. None whatsoever. Let's take a look at this King of Pentacles. Give me some clarification for this King of Pentacles for uh, December the 3rd through the 17th. We have the Chariot again. Okay, yeah, so I definitely feel like you're moving in the right direction. I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, whatever, if you're studying or, or if you're reading, I feel like you're moving into the right direction. And I feel like you're really working on yourself. Um, maybe you've been reading books on manifesting, or uh, maybe you've actually read the book The Secret. But I feel like you are making moves to better your situation. What is this Page of Cups? What communication is coming in for Capricorn? I really feel like this is news about money. You're going to receive some information about some money that you've been waiting for. And I feel like this, this information is, has been delayed. So I feel like you're really waiting for this information. You have the Five of Swords. So Capricorn, what I feel like this is, is this is actually the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is com someone coming to apologize about information that was delayed. Uh, this might be an answer to something that has been conflicted. What is this High Priestess? The Four of Cups. Yeah, so, okay. Capricorn. <clears throat> With the High Priestess and the Four of Cups, I feel like be aware of any uh, drifting that you're doing. If your mind drifts away, if you are not really what I want to say, any misunderstandings that's going to lead you away from your truth. Be careful for any misunderstandings. Try to gain another perspective. Um, if it's dealing with the person, if it's dealing with your person, I feel like you should take a new perspective. Uh, maybe look at the other person's perspective. But I feel like this is... You needing to really accept this situation. If it's not accepted, I feel like it's going to be a missed opportunity for you. A missed opportunity to find the answers that you need. Very interesting, Capricorn. What is this judgment card? What can we say about this judgment? The, the nine of wands. So with the judgment and the nine of wands, what it's letting you know is not to give up. Don't give up, Capricorn. Even when you're, you go through these obstacles and challenges, I feel like spirit is letting you know not to give up on your situation, not to back away not to walk away to hang tight and follow through whatever situation that it is you need to follow through with this now with the chariot card you have the knight of swords so yeah i feel like moving forward But moving at your own pace, not being too hasty.
that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that like you shouldn't make a move in haste. I feel like it should be thought out. It should be well planned. But I do feel like with this chariot, you're moving into a change that's going to change your lifestyle. You're changing your lifestyle. This could be the income that's coming in. This could be the news of the income that's coming in. But I feel like, yeah, th th this may put you into a higher uh, living status or, but something's going to change your lifestyle. What is this Four of Pentacles? The Death Card. Yeah, so you're going through a full transformation. This is actually a really good reading. You're going through a full transformation. There are big changes coming through for you, Capricorn. <clears throat> I feel like whatever it is that had to end, I feel like it's moving into it's moving you into a total new situation. What is this hangman? The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like with you taking a different perspective. Now, this actually could be a project that you're working on. This could be a new job. Um, this could be family. But the Ten, Ten of Pentacles is actually um, prosperity, leaving a legacy, um, inheritance, uh, new income coming in, being abundant. Uh, but I feel like whatever wisdom you've gained, has led you to this point. I feel like you've sacrificed a lot to get here. And I believe that I said that to you before, Capricorn, that you've sacrificed a lot. Uh, maybe you should go back and take a look at that reading as well. Um, and actually, I have pretty good readings for you most of the time. And I feel like you are really you're really on the right path, Capricorn. With the Six of Wands, you have the Empress. So yeah, definitely you're being seen. And I feel like you are very fruitful. You're creating abundance in your life. You're creating something that's going to be uh, a true lifestyle change, something that's going to be a, <clears throat> a drastic change to your situation in a good way. I feel like whatever you're doing, you are doing it in a very strong capacity. I feel like you are really showing your strength, Capricorn. Whatever investments that you're doing or whatever you're doing, you are definitely on the right path. What is this King of Swords? What is this King of Swords? Yeah, the Three of Swords in reverse. So, yes, definitely. Capricorn, I feel like this is a very good reading, but I do feel like, you know, there's a certain situation, and this may be with your person, or this may be with someone else. But what I'm feeling like is maybe you should think about what you say before you say it. Really watch your words. Watch how you, watch the things that you say. Because Capricorn, sometimes you can, you can just say something without really thinking. And your words really cut like a knife. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. So I definitely feel like if this isn't a love, 
that you're going through this with. And it, it may be just a small conflict. It may be just, you know, just a meaningless argument over nothing. But I do feel like you should watch your words. Watch how you come across to people. Because sometimes your words are, can, you know, excuse me, I'm sorry, Capricorn, but sometimes your words are very, very strong. So, yes, watch your words, Capricorn. Now, let's get a card from the universe to end off this reading. You know, other than this last row here, the King of Swords and the Three of Swords in reverse, you know, and I feel like this is nothing. I feel like the Three of Swords is in reverse because um, it, it's going to totally be resolved. It's not anything to worry about or anything like that. I feel like this is just a small conflict. But this is a really good reading, Capricorn. Let's see what the universe has to say for Capricorn. December 3rd through the 17th. What do we have for Capricorn to end this reading? What do we have for Capricorn? Okay, well, we wanted to take two. I surrender to the power greater than me. And when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Yeah, so I, I feel like, you know what, if this is a conflict, I feel like maybe you should take the higher ground and maybe apologize. Even if it's not your fault, just so... It can be resolved and you can move forward. And I know this seems kind of hard to say, but I, I, I feel like you're at that point. You're at this point, Capricorn, where you're just ready to burst with abundance. Okay, I feel like taking one more card. One more card for Capricorn. Okay, let's see. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Yeah, so I feel like letting go of your fears or maybe... Heading on your fears straight forward. Conquering your fears is what I want to say. But I feel like that's key. I feel like Capricorn taking a risk to do something that you've been wanting to do. Um, taking that chance is going to really promote you into kind of where you need to be. At the bottom you have, I am the dreamer of my dream. So I feel like with that card, I feel like you maybe should really focus on your dreams. Maybe start a dream journal. Listen to what you're dreaming about. try to recall it is um, what you're dreaming because I feel like in your dreams are going to be answers. Maybe you're having visions or downloads while you're sleeping. But I really feel like all of that is going to give you so much more knowledge of your situation. Okay, that is your reading Capricorn. If you resonate with this reading, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. 
and make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising if you know your placements i believe that will give you more clarity on your situation and have a wonderful december capricorn many blessings to you love and light